Steve, uh, a lot of people were bringing up your state of Iowa yesterday when they were talking about this bill, talking about how coverage um, is being lost in, in Iowa when it comes to Obamacare and saying that this will reinstate it. Uh, members are going to be going on recess soon. What should they expect to hear from Iowans, uh, at least the, uh, the Iowa representatives, when they go back and, and talk to their voters? Well, I think the previous analysis you heard, Katie, is exactly right. And leave it to Republicans to find a way to snatch defeat from the jaws of victory and come up with something almost nobody likes. Neither base and either party likes this. And I think they'll hear that on their recesses. And you're right about my home state of Iowa. 94 of 99 counties already. Obamacare has imploded in. And that's why I think what happened yesterday was theatrical. I think it was House Republicans saying, listen, we're sick and tired of being in the crosshairs here. We're sick and tired of Mitch McConnell hiding in his spider hole. Let's pass the hot potato to him and, and put him on the hot seat for this summer and so we can get out of the way. And I think you'll see the Senate take months and months to consider this. I don't think the moderates are the problem. I think it's conservatives. You only have 52 Republicans and you got Lee, Cruz, Rand, Sass, Cotton. I don't see any of those guys voting for this. And I think ultimately they'll just say, that's why they took their photo op yesterday. I think nothing will come out of the Senate. They'll say next year that's why we need more Republicans in the Senate. And that's why they took their victory lap yesterday because I think the Senate is very uncertain. You call it theatrics? Are Republican voters buying those theatrics, Steve? Uh, held in the no, uh, actually, no. Uh, the base is pretty fed up. They feel like they've been completely betrayed. This is nothing like what Republicans voted over 50 times for. And, and I've not done this in the past often, Katie, but I gotta give a lot of the liberal commentators here on MSNBC their props. They said all those repeal votes were show votes by Republicans, and it turns out they were exactly correct.